Previously, we've learned how to combine two equations into one by replacing one variable by an expression in the other variable. This method works really well when one of the equations contains a variable that's easy to solve for. For example, in this system, we could easily solve the first equation for y. However, consider a system that looks like this. In this system, notice that none of the variables has coefficient 1. In fact, all of the variables have fairly large coefficients. If we were to solve for either variable, we would have all sorts of fractions among our coefficients, which is okay. We can handle that, but maybe there's an easier way to go about this. It turns out that there is. There's another method we can use to combine our two equations. This new method is called the elimination method, and it's based on the addition property of equality. Remember when we met this property a long time ago? We worded it in a weird way. We didn't say we can add the same thing to both sides of an equation. We said that we can add expressions representing the same number to both sides of an equation. That is the basis of the elimination method. Here's what we're going to do. In the elimination method, we'll add the left-hand sides of the two equations and add the right-hand sides of the two equations, with the goal that one of the variables will cancel out. So again, we have this system. The first equation gives us two expressions that represent the same number. The second equation also gives us two expressions that represent the same number. And therefore, when we add together the left-hand sides, we get the same result as when we add together the right-hand sides. If we write this out in detail, we would write the two left-hand sides added together, 11x plus 7y plus 5x minus 7y. That'll equal the two right-hand sides added together. Now we need to simplify this by combining like terms. 11x plus 5x is 16x. 7y plus negative 7y is 0y. And 29 plus 3 is 32. So 16x is 32. Dividing both sides by 16, x is 2. Now we can go back and plug in x is 2 to whichever equation we like better. Uh, neither one seems obviously easier, so I'm going to use the first one. 22 plus 7y is 29. Subtracting 22 on both sides. We get 7y is 7, and so y is 1. If we want to check our work, we can say what happens if we take 5 times 2 minus 7 times 1? That'll be 10 minus 7, which is indeed 3. So that's what's actually happening when we use the elimination method. We're adding together the two left-hand sides, and we're adding together the two right-hand sides. There's a shortcut way of writing this. In this shortcut, we imagine that we're just adding together the two equations. We line up the like terms on each side, and then we add down. So again, we've got 11x plus 7y equals 29, 5x minus 7y equals 
3. Remember that minus 7y means plus negative 7y. Other things to notice, the equal signs line up here. If the equal signs don't line up, you're not ready to use the elimination method. Also, the x terms line up, the y terms line up, and the constants line up. Again, if that's not the case, you're not ready to use the elimination method, at least not with the shorthand. So what do we do? Now that all of the like terms are lined up and the equal signs are lined up, we just add down the columns. 11x plus 5x is 16x. 7y plus negative 7y is 0. 29 plus 3 is 32. So we get the same 16x equals 32 that we did up here, just with fewer lines of writing. Notice, this is just a shortcut to writing this. If you find that you get turned around using the shortcut, write it out the long way.